The countdown for the move is less than two weeks. I just wanna put everything away in the boxes. I'm capsule wardrobing it and I have like four shirts. It's like the 10th, it's daylight savings starting today. The cockroach numbers are climbing back up again. The traps are full and disgusting again, which sucks. It only lasted probably a little bit, but we never fully had no cockroaches. So thank God we're leaving. So the current situation is cardboard boxes. I'm happy that we went this route, um, albeit later than I wanted, because we had too many cockroaches to be able to justify all cardboard, because if we had stacked these boxes up, they would have eaten through them, it would have been awful. The thing that I really wanna pack that I can't yet, because we still have to live here for another like two weeks, ish yeah about two weeks is i can't start packing up the kitchen or i can't pack up all of our cleaning stuff or everything in our closet because we still have to wear clothes so i'm just like trying <laughs> to like be patient but i'm also looking around being like i want to pack everything the important rules are you don't pack your cleaning supplies you don't pack any of your tools or any of your like repair things like your patching uh, your like drywall patching things and like Stuff like that. So yeah, just trying <laughs> to be patient, but also packed two of these boxes yesterday, right? So yeah, we just have a lot going on in here, but I'll lay lighter things on top of here, which is why I'm not closing it. You know, you don't tape the boxes shut until it's fully time to tape the boxes shut. But I also want to get everything out of here soon so we can, you know, see the progress faster and we guarantee no roaches have moved with us, right? Because the <laughs> the underside of our fridge, I know I showed it a couple of like a month ago, but they're just it's infested under there and it's just so dense with all the traps. Like it's crazy. I think I need to put out another one. Good morning, afternoon. We are going to pick up stuff. I made it. It's very backlit, but I got this cute new lamp for our place. We've got some storage unit stuff going on today. Let's load it in. It's so beautiful out too. Oh. It dings very. Oh. So I just don't want to break it. I think I feel like I should take off the top. So I can't do that because it's anchored on, which is fine. I think it's fine. I don't think it'll break. And I think we're good. Today is a beautiful day outside. It is 62 degrees out. And I actually kind of have to pee, so I should probably drive home now. These are my driving glasses as I wait for my other ones to get in from Amazon. But I'm off to look for bowls and plates to buy from HomeSense because we are getting rid of a lot of them in the move. And I want to get like a full set and then put it immediately into the packing boxes congested and a little bit of like weirdness in my throat and in my head. I'm very backlit there because um, the solarium space has like a little bit of like mold or something and we have a cockroach thing going on like for one of the traps that it's it gave me like sinus pain. So either I was getting sick already or it landed right on the days where things got really warm and my face just started like feeling all of it. So um, that's the update for today. We move in less than a week. I am, or not less than a week, huh, less than 10 days, single digis. I've also finished packing up most of a kitchen box. We've thrown away a lot of things. So one, two, three, four, hopefully will come with me today. I need to find a box that'll fit that because the old toaster box doesn't and I accidentally threw the new one away. And hopefully in the next couple days, this is getting out of here and this is getting out of here. <laughs> All right, here's the state of the place. It's in a state. <laughs> my friend's about to show up and help me move the couch. Go outside and make my allergies super excited and move a bunch of stuff to the storage unit. We have the really good uh, front desk person in today, not the ones that are like cr uh, crazy. So um, he will lock the elevator for us. There have been a disgusting amount of cockroaches in the last like hour. Like I've seen so many large ones that I had to kill with a shoe. 
um, in the middle of one of my like little, little board meetings. Like there was one crawling across here while I was sitting at my desk. Um, so we're breaking down this desk today and we are going to put everything into the box that I have designated for that. Wow, I look a little bit crazy. I had two and a half hours of straight meetings. So I just need to get up and do this. We have a hockey game tonight. I'm packing up boxes. I'm ready to go. I wanna move, I wanna move. I hate the bugs so much. Oh, so gross. I can't, I have like these like, little moments where I'm like, oh, thank God we're leaving, but also can we leave right now? Like today? Woo! We are on to packing boxes of shoes. I picked up six big boxes and four small boxes um, to get the rest of this situated, but we have friends helping this weekend for this, this, and this. This will stay and we will move it on the last day, um, like this week, basically. And the cushions will come over as well, but I've packed up the office desk and the tech boxes and stuff. I do need to take apart the standing desk so the table part and the legs just are separated so it's easier to move. But yeah, this is um, like heavy, good progress. So we are, we are happy. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of progress was made. We're done for today, but a couple more loads of laundry running to pack up the last couple ones of these. And we have a friend coming with a big SUV in a few days to pack up the stuff that I was just talking about in the last clip. I'm tired. It is a Friday and it's like 9 p.m. and I've been doing this since work ended at like 4, so... Sleepy? Ooh, wow, I look I look tired too. Um, and of course, wearing the same shirt I always wear when I move because I'm capsule wardrobing it and I have like four shirts. So it just so happens that every day I have my film and every day that I go to pick up the camera, I'm wearing this. Snooze, 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 yes. I, I'm not perfect. I wrote shoes and it looks like sn minus what? what? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I was writing it from a weird angle very clearly, and it's not an H, it's an N. Yeah, a lot of places I made that mistake. Right, so we're going to the storage unit with the dolly that I borrowed from work, with permissions. And they also don't use it, they buried it under a bunch of clothes. Mm -hmm. I had a very hard time finding it. <laughs> I just killed another cockroach, disgusting! so big all right so the hanger box is a big one too that is actually gonna go today we're gonna have 10 left but i'm not super concerned about the about that so i'm gonna box up the hangers and then we're gonna come back and do one more trip with these clothing boxes and then when our friends are here tomorrow with their suv um I, this is gonna be the third time i said that so i'm not gonna repeat myself again but It'll be even more empty tomorrow. We did a little brunch brainstorm together of what the next, uh, what today looks like, what tomorrow looks like, and what next week looks like, because we're moving in a few days. And the uh, game plan, pretty much on lock, other than we still have a couple more things to clean and empty here, like our kitchen and um, underneath the sink in the bathroom. Those are just the most precarious places, if I do say so myself, because those are the ones that are, um, you know, most of the roaches are in those places. So if we're packing it up, we have to take all that stuff out out in one go um, as to not leave like a bunch of open boxes in our place that the roaches can get into. I've been really good about taping off all the corners of these cardboard boxes but they are the heavy duty ones which means they have like the hand um, holes or whatever these are called. I'm on the French side. They have the easy move handles so uh, yeah I just want to make sure not a bunch are getting in here but again we're not moving any food and you're not allowed to have them in the storage unit so I think it's fine even if they are there and we have some dead ones in our stuff it's the cost of where we live right now <laughs> so a vibrant shopping district and wonderful <sighs> This I think I hung up in our first like week. I think maybe... I can confirm that this is the seventh vlog I ever made dating back five years ago and I hung it up on this day and it did not fall down or move at all in all of the time we lived there. And it has managed to stay up with the command strips that it was originally hung with, which 
is nuts. But I'm gonna take it down. Going back and finding that last clip from a couple years ago really led me down a rabbit hole of all of the cringy videos I used to make two GoPros ago and everything that I've done since to improve the videos I've made, but also how exciting it is that we are moving to a new place. I was trying to get that in our car today, but I forgot. Okay, and then this lamp is fine. These cushions will go in after as well. And then... We're probably, I mean, we're probably gonna make a couple trips to this week. Yeah, it's probably yeah. gonna be a little bit of space though. Yeah. This always blows my mind when I look at it because our view has changed so drastically in five years. They had built so many things in front of our view of BC Place and all of that is just totally different. It's just crazy. I have reorganized this so many times, but now it's time to just empty it. Thanks for watching this video. It's been very difficult to try and film with any continuity with all of the things that we're dealing with in both locations and trying to be excited about moving while also trying to leave all the cockroaches behind while also making sure we get rid of everything and keep the place clean. So filmed as much as we could, but also, you know, lots of storage visits and lots of things that happened off camera, of course, as part of a move. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.